When Victoria gets busy with visiting tourists, downtown can quickly become a zoo. So naturally, when I found out three large hippos have been spotted floating around Victoria's inner harbour, I simply had to submerge myself into finding out more. If you're ever on safari in James Bay, you'll discover there's a new way to hear the history and see the sights. Inside what can only be described as hip boat potter buses. Victoria Hippo Tours picks people up from outside the newly refurbished steamship terminal. And just when you think you're on a bus tour, this happens. Never seen the downtown double-decker tours do this. If one of the double-deckers did do that, better make sure you've got a seat on the top floor. Business owner Jeffrey Lind recently transported the company to Victoria from the shores of Lake Ontario. And he wants this new attraction to make a splash in the local tourism market. Well, many years ago, I was I used to run tours to Branson, Missouri. I was a bus tour operator. And Branson has the Branson Ducks, the duck tours. And our people just loved it. And uh, so I thought we should bring that to Canada. So in 2000, I opened a business, Toronto Hippo Tours. And uh, we were operating out of uh, Ontario Place, where they had a nice ramp. And uh, we do a city tour of Toronto and then uh, down by the lake shore near the exhibition. But in 2012, Ontario Place went through a revitalization. The hippos lost the use of their ramp in Toronto, so they needed a new home. And now they share this public boat ramp operated by the James Bay Anglers. They've been issued with a permit to operate for one year. Now the planning for this has been about a year and 41 permits. Tell us about getting set up. Well, it's been a, I mean, don't get me wrong, everyone's supportive, but there are a lot of there are a lot more uh, agencies, let's put it out here, that wanted to have a say as to what uh, we do and how we operate. And our number one concern is complying and being in compliance with everything and also safety is, is primary. The 90-minute tour operates daily and depending on demand, up to three buses are in rotation. So how are some of the tourists already enjoying the ride? Now you guys have taken a bus before, but not quite like this, eh? Never like this before, no. I've seen it once on TV like this, but uh, I've never experienced anything like this. No lights or stop signs. <laughs> you get a perspective that you don't see from it, from the land, so kind of a neat experience without a doubt. Wait, is it a boat or a bus? It's a bus that floats. It's an amphibious bus that goes on land and water. And so do hippos an appropriate animal to help market the service. Hippos make you happy. You just look at them and smile. Well, a hippo can run it faster than a horse, uh, so they're, they're not an amphib, they're a mammal, but they can go on land and water, and that's effectively what we do. And these were designed originally um, for World War II, right? This style of a, of a vehicle? Well, the concept was originally designed as a landing craft for uh, the Second War, uh, built by General Motors, and they were called the Ducks, and then we uh, hired a naval architect and a mechanical engineer and sort of reinvented the mousetrap. And so we take a brand new school bus, we take the top off, we put a front wheel drive axle on it, and then we convert it into a boat. Do you know how many people fantasize about driving a, a huge bus into the sea? I can only imagine. Yeah, no need to worry, the bus floats, it's okay, everything's all right here. From James Bay in Victoria's inner harbor, I'm James Green.